What's up my lovely bushes, welcome to another Naruto video. Today we have the top 10 plays on Naruto to Boruto Shinobi Striker. Some of these plays are impressive, others are just straight up funny, and all of them come from my personal gameplay and Ian Rinnegan, who if you don't know is a dude that works here in the office, he also recorded a bunch of plays, but I'd also love to see your plays in the future. That's why I'm including a link to a Google form in the description down below, so you can submit your plays for a future video. And without further ado, let's jump into it. At number 10, how do you counter the Yamato wall? Oh Yamato, how the tables have turned on you. We don't only have this clip from one perspective, we have it from the perspective of three different players. Domed wall is not gonna save you when you're outnumbered like that. In fact, it will very much work against you. Yamato just got caught in a very bad situation. And number nine, the best ability combo in the beta. <laughs> This is straight up just a great tip. We're in a 4v4 situation, two enemy players have just died, but they've dealt some serious damage to our team. The best combo that was available in the beta for team fights was, without a doubt, Sand Shield and Palm Sage Jutsu, which we used to great effect here. Not only did we win the team fight, we did so without losing a single life. So obviously we just kept on using this combo, even after picking up a scroll that made Kirin rain from the sky, which provided us with this comical moment. Nice try, Rasengan man. Number 8, he's not gonna die, is he? Our healer just died in the middle of a team fight, and we're trapped inside a tree. This is bad, this is real bad. Time to pull off the water prison and hope for the best. <laughs> This was a great time for the enemy team to turn the tables on us, and it's surprising that not only all of us survived after the healer died, we actually even managed to get a kill. This is the clutchest heal that I've ever seen. The sand shield healing combo does it again, and now victory is secured. And number seven, I'm not dead, you are. This really shows how important heal types are on your team. The defense type was struggling in this 2v1 situation. He did a good job delaying his death, but eventually the death was the only possible outcome. But the Bushkage jumps in, and as soon as he starts healing, the roles reverse. And this 2v1 is now a very, very easy 2v2. And that's how you win a match. And number six, how did he even keep that point? <laughs> This clip is a couple of different things. First, it's the game absolutely hating on Naruto. Like, how the hell did that Odama Rasengan not hit the opponent? He's right there. And then somehow, the Naruto Rasengan got interrupted. I still don't know exactly how. And Naruto was so, so close to dying. But then the Bushkage notices this. He notices his teammate is in trouble and he comes to the rescue, securing the victory with a well-synchronized attack that pushes back the opponent. And number five, I didn't even dodge. Better luck next time, I guess. Number four, the full dome meta. Oh. <laughs> 
This is a combination of two half dome jutsu that I tried out with one of our premium bushes. We wanted to check if it was worth it. And I gotta say, it does work a lot better than the sand shield. It blocks a lot more damage and you're free to move around after you cast the jutsu, meaning that you can repel back enemy attacks. Plus, unlike the sand shield, you can actually trap targets inside the dome, which can be very bad news for them since you'll at least have two players inside. Now, is it good enough to have two Yamatos in your team instead of some other more powerful role? Probably not. But when it becomes a custom jutsu that you can equip on your defense type character, it might have its uses, especially in base battle. And number three, where did the Rasen Shuriken go? This one started off as a display of bad tracking. The camera is clearly not pointing in that direction. The player was trying to rotate the camera to the left to hit the enemies that were on the left. And yet, the Rasen Shuriken just took off to the right and even secured the kill. Mysterious. Luckily, I was able to capture exactly what happened. And let's just say, Kobe... <laughs> Number 2, the Overtime Clutch. This team is in trouble, with only 30 seconds to go on the clock, they're losing the game and they don't have enough bases. So the range type is going to capture one, uncontested, but he needs to keep it afterwards as the enemy approaches. He's gonna have a tough fight in his hands if he wants to secure that base. Simultaneously, their heal type is also capturing base B, also uncontested. And he manages to grab it just in time, extending that clock for an extra 4 minutes. His team was 1 second away from losing the match. That was absolutely clutch. All they need to do now is retain two of the bases, giving them enough time to grab the win. And a number one, Sasuke for the win! Sasuke was almost dead and this match was incredibly close. I mean, just look at the score. Both teams are two kills from either winning or losing the match. And that's when the healer jumps in, heals Sasuke just enough to make him feel safe to get out there and try to grab some kills. Sasuke spots two players who are trying to climb the wall. He cooks one with a fireball jutsu and then just plays with his food for a a while, giving Naruto that hope, that little bit of hope that he can make that climb and survive this, but a single kunai will seal the deal. From almost dead to winning the match for his team, that was play of the game. And that's gonna do it for today's video and I'm very much looking forward to seeing what you guys have to offer. Grab the link in the description down below and send me those plays if you've got anything that's impressive or just straight up funny that you'd like to share. And I want to thank everyone who supports this channel, especially these guys over here, our top supporters. They deserve your love and recognition. You too can become a premium bush, all you have to do is check out Patreon and uh, you get access to all sorts of cool stuff. But as always, thank you very much for watching, my name is Glauku and I'll see you guys next time. Boy.